While I've been grafting on this latest show, Tom Stanley gets all the great gigs. He's been down to meet model turned would-be race rider, Rosie Tapner, who's preparing for the Goodwood charity race. I'm always smiling up the gallops. It's the best, best feeling. I was really nervous today because I've never worked Licinius before. But actually, as soon as we set off, I realised that he's, he's a pretty cool horse and I felt good on him. I mean, how long have you been here now at Charlie Hills? I started at the end of March, so actually not that long. But I have been coming often. Mm. But now I've finished uni for the year, I can ride two or three lots a day, which I think is really helping my confidence a lot. And this is all, of course, for the Magnolia Cup, yeah. which I'm sure you're very excited about. We've still got a little bit, a little bit of time. But I mean, how do you feel? You look well ahead of, of where you might be, having <laughs> only you. been here in such a short space of time. But, but how do you feel about it all? I'm really excited for the Magnolia Cup. I think my main worry is the start and the end. Just purely either that we actually set off and we start, and then also that I manage to stop at the end. I think the in between, you just remember to breathe. Um, but no, it's really exciting, and Charlie's been brilliant, and everyone here has looked after me so well. And you know, I've ridden eight different horses now, which for me is really very different because I rode the same one for 11 years so coming here and riding eight different ones I rode a new one today actually before uh, and he was lovely and it's just I mean what an opportunity to be given and they look after me so well and has it been very difficult getting, getting on thoroughbreds I mean do you feel that different it's like I feel like I've had to learn how to ride again because I, I ride quite long at home and in a proper saddle that keeps you safe and the horses that don't pull and I've come here and you have to hike your stirrups up and you're on pretty much nothing and yeah it's t it is they are a different breed it's like riding a different animal and you really have to res well you have to have a huge amount of respect for them and my arms have definitely got stronger <laughs> <laughs> and what about I mean this is different from day-to-day -day life for you you're used to being in front of camera that we're doing now but, yeah. but slightly differently just tell us a bit about that well so I've worked as a model since I was 15 so I'm very used to being in front of the camera and obviously there's that adrenaline rush then but that is my job so for me that's just everyday life and quite quite dull now I guess compared to this and I come here and it's sort of that thing of wow you actually really need to be on be on your game every morning and if I ever feel a bit nervous it's yes yeah, it's not great <laughs> and I suppose I mean it's Look, you know, it's all very well having a lovely time coming and riding out in the mornings, but it's hard work, right? You, yeah. You've got to do the miles to get here in the morning. You're then riding three lots. It's, I mean, it'll take its toll and it is hard work. It's so hard and I have the most amazing amount of respect for everyone here because I, I just come in and I ride two lots and then I go home, whereas they're here riding five and then they come back in the afternoon and they have to muck out and, you know, look after the horses again. So the, the amount of work that goes into these horses to actually get them to run in just one race is incredible and to be able to come here but it is I mean I'm up at half four every morning to get here and it is hard work and I do find myself getting home and needing needing a nap <laughs> but it's the best thing I can't you know to be able, I wake up every morning really looking forward to coming it's not a chore it's it's the best thing in the world and every week that goes by I get more and more upset that it's it's a week less that I'm going to be here riding these incredible horses. Well, you know, never know once it's finished maybe this will, maybe this will be it. <laughs> maybe this will be my new job. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what horse you're going to be sat on on the day? I know we're a bit out but any idea? Not a clue. We think potentially it could be Licinius the one I just worked on but we're not we're not entirely sure at the moment. I'm, I'm sort of working my way around the yard <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> and tell us a bit about the is it Reg the lovely guy who oh, helps Reg. you every morning? Reg I don't think I could live without Reg, if I'm honest. He taught me everything from right from the beginning. He's taught me how to tack up, and even though I know how to, if, if he sees me start tacking up, he gets a bit cross with me, because it's his job. <laughs> and he, he lo loves looking after me, and I, honestly, he calms me down every morning. He's the sweetest, sweetest person, and it's the best thing to come in the morning and see, and see Reg. Uh, Rosie, lovely. It's, it's great you're enjoying it so much. That really comes across. Good luck when the day comes. Thank I'm sure you. you'll be great and enjoy it. Fingers crossed for a win, eh? Exactly. <laughs>